<laughs> I always have the mic muted until I'm playing, and then I forget about it. Anyways, I forgot where we were, but it says we're in a trial, so we're in a trial. <laughs> Where's my volume? Okay. Oh, he probably said this, but anyways. So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't really exist in real life? Then she wasn't human? I think everything should be fine. Okay. <laughs> right. I just had a whole rant, like, right before this about the first game with my sibling. So I kind of don't remember where we are. Because <laughs> I was so focused on ranting about other things that I don't remember this. Um, I was saying that so far, I liked the previous chapter better than this one. I liked the chapter 5 whole thing with the bombs and the Nagito and all of that so far. Better than this? I. It really is just reading bunch of information um it's a little bit cool that we're at a simulation but i think eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. so let's continue she didn't exist at all not human no that's not it chiaki was really alive i don't know if i said this but it probably with um I'm gonna tighten this one second. I don't know how loud that is. Um, with Chucky being alive, I think it has really to do with Alter Ego. So I wonder, I'm trying to remember what people said about Alter Ego. I think people are like, it's up to you, your per perception. And, but if Chucky's real, if, if that's like, oh, she has her own mind. Then so did Alter Ego, <laughs> and so does Alter Ego. I'm... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. One second. My wrist, okay. <laughs> did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character! Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character, she was a lackey for the detestable World Ender. World Ender? Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. Are they really the same organization? I really thought they were two different things. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending! <laughs> no, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender. At least for those of us here. Okay. For the ones I I guess because we're in not in the world. World Ender. Okay, so, but they're the same organization. <laughs> I gotta rewrite that in my head, okay. <laughs> For everyone who's here. Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? Okay. It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? Are we gonna see? Are we going to see who it is? I mean, it's a program? Question mark? Is it an actual guy? Because I thought it was going to be an actual guy based on the first one. But now, it could it not be a program just like Alter Ego? Could it not be a program like Chiaki? Just a program, not a real sentient being? Well, I guess they are sentient. Not a... A being. <laughs> like, not a program. What, you can't talk? Or an AI. It is cowardly of you to just ignore us! 
apparently Sonia is fine, and I feel really bad about thinking she's an awful, not an awful human being, but... Oops. Before <laughs> I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived! Huh? Main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender! That was my face glitched. Okay. So World Ender meaning the Future Foundation. Okay. What? World Ender? Do we know that voice or do we know that voice or <sighs> It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies. Is that just the same design? I kind of thought he would look different. But okay. With you guys. Us. Rude. All right, I was waiting for you, Makoto. You finally arrived. M Makoto. Can I not click? Nope. Oh, we're doing a thing. <laughs> I still don't understand his pin, but also, I thought I really was helping out different design since we know time has passed. <laughs> but okay, that's fine. My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. I really like not uh no. I really like Makoto's design better than Hajime's. I I think I like this look better. Even like he has a cute little hair thing versus like ours dinky one. You are from the future foundation? Just saying. I don't really like ours our now playable character. <laughs> Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Hey, what happened? What is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude. It's as if... He's being cautious of us. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that... Are we the bad guys? <laughs> you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation we're in? Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here! The Neo World Program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. I think we knew that. I think we did. But maybe not. I don't remember. There was a lot of reading. And it's been like a week. Okay. Hope Restoration Program. By now, you should understand your true identity. Our true identities? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Why are you working with him? Put them all together and try thinking about them. Are we not? <laughs> Put it together and think. Are we not working? Oh, okay, it's logic type. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I can do logic type. Right? It's multiple choice. Okay, what are my buttons? Who am I? Okay. Okay, I thought that was going to be a question, but never mind. Wait, wait, stop, stop. 
who were the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> I was like, what's the difference? Okay, different main characters. I mean, okay, okay. I was like, where's... Right? <laughs> I had to remember what our main character was called. Because my sibling actually forgot. <laughs> and I was like, oh wait, I know this. I'm playing that game currently. Oh dear gosh. Okay. Who are the remnants of despair? We're Hajime. Not Makoto. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that was explained to us. Got it. I don't remember. There was a lot of reading last time, okay? <laughs> a lot. Why were Hajime and the others put into the Neo World program? And then it got corrupted. I shouldn't jump. I'm gonna fall. Yeah. It's all coming together. Could it be the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are? Yes. Both of those phrases refer to you guys. What do we mean survivors? I don't remember. So we... Because they were in the school. And then this happened. After. Because obviously Alter Ego. So, it got destroyed again? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Huh? That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! We're all... Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid! Okay, that's fun. I mentioned that, I think, in the very first one. So I'm like... I was right, but not right, because obviously I was talking about the first one. But I like that. I like it. I want to see how it plays out, though. In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. All 15 of them were remnants of despair. You didn't do a very good job. <laughs> like, you messed up by getting all 15 of them, not one of them. Just was like, nope. I wasn't that. <laughs> you messed up and got all of them. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, wars. It's pronounced coup d'etats. Yes. Oh. They're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair and human, oh. fear, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. Okay. They live solely to torment everything, to burn everything, to kill everything. We are part of a dangerous group like that. Why were all of our ultimates? <laughs> all of us.
Can I see my people? Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what we who we were. Nagito got rid of hope. Uh, got to despair. I guess the ultimate imposter. Gundam. Okay, okay. So the... So she wasn't one. Interesting. Team manager. Ultimate dancer I can kind of see. My hero is interesting. We really didn't see that from her. We saw that from you. Chaos could make sense and then... Pekko. Chaos though? From Pekko is a little odd. Mayuru, I think, is the kind of the oddball out here. I don't know why. Just for me, she just kind of stands out. Because, like, she likes killing things. I can kind of- I just- Nekamaru, I think, is supposed to be a really good guy, so I think that's supposed to be a little odd. Nagito, I wonder if they're going to bring that up, because... Yeah. Ultimate Imposter, we didn't know anything about him. And I can see it for the rest of them, kind of... Akane? Like, maybe? Because she already kind of lives in chaos. <laughs> but pure, like, straight up, like, that guy's arm was cut. You know what I'm saying? It's a little... It's interesting. Interesting. Okay. That's gotta be a lie! That's right. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair! Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? I brought him up too, I'm just saying. He's the only <laughs> one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room. Oh. Interesting. So he didn't like me because I was a reserve course student. And then didn't like the others because they were all actually part of the thing that he hates, which is despair, but also himself, which was despair. Poor man had some turmoil. Isn't that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Academy. Hmm. If it's not written th in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Ah. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. <laughs> I, I, I thought this was us right now, so I was like, why are we contradicting ourselves? Right, this is a different main character. Which, I was talking to my sibling, my sister, about, um... Dying room above right before this actually because it was a lead in from some other media but anyways we we're talking about it and um she mentions because she watched the third playthrough or a playthrough of the third game and she says she likes the third protagonist the most um then the second and then the first and i'm like actually like yes i <laughs> I get it, but I also like Makoto because solely because he's kind of really go with the flow. It was really funny. Like, he's so not having a personality, but it almost is endearing. It's kind of naive. Um, but when I went to test this mic out for the first time, when I, so I brought up an old save file from the first game, and I was um, clicking on a bed, and it was like, such an ordinary bed. Oh, I hope it doesn't mind that I called it ordinary. Like, I hope it's not, like, would be upset by that. And it was so innocent. <laughs> and I think throughout it, he became less innocent. Like, I think because obviously that was before the first kill. But it was just so sweet. <laughs> it was just so sweet that I'm like, I really enjoyed that. So, um, but overarchingly, I think the second one probably is better. He does have a lot more of a personality. Um, I think they could have swayed even more into, if they sw swung 
um, Makoto into being extremely innocent. It would have been really cute, really sweet. But I don't think they did. I think they wrote him as boring, as like empty, as a main character. Where this this guy has a personality. So I am intrigued by the third one. So I want to know who's who. What's up with it? <laughs> so, huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file has profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Nagito, learn the truth. What did he try to do to us? Are you telling us or er, are you telling us to answer that? It's murder. Kill? Kill us all. Oh shoot, it's this. Oh. Kill. Nope. I. Okay. You here. Nope. Shoot. <laughs> I don't. It has to be in order. Oh, I don't need this. Oh shoot. Uh, I don't need this. SNS? Sure. Never mind. Nope. Click the wrong button. My bad. Do I get shot if I explode them? I don't know. I'm looking for an L. Okay, there we go. Kill us all. I, got it. I was just saying murder. <laughs> tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. Ah. Uh... That's right. After seeing the file, you learn that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. That's so rough. Seeing something. This is really interesting. <laughs> I still like the previous chapter the best, and maybe it adds to it, but I really like, um, I like, the, I like the previous chapter better than this so far. I'm, I don't, I want to finish it, I want to finish it first, but, uh, but it's like with the mourning his sister twice thing, this is one of those instances where it's like, oh, I have become the thing that I hate. <laughs> like, his whole thing is hope. And realizing that that's not who you are. That's rough. That's rough. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. Are you saying you would kill us? I'm just asking, are, are you saying you would kill us? Because, um, bro, not cool. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I would just love one of them just being like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Just like Sonya's like, actually though, yeah. <laughs> I don't need a twist like that. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. It's interesting. That means they really were just good people until, I guess, the first uprising happened. I'm assuming that's the timeline. I'm gonna be real. I've 
but it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You know, for saying your name with hope in it, you're not very, um, full of hope. <laughs> you were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Jinko. Her? The true ultimate mm -hmm. despair. Junko and Oshima. Got a big brain. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. You know what? I just remembered that we had memory loss in the previous one. I didn't. I don't know if I loved the whole ending of the first one. It kind of was like good, and then the un ending kind of fumbled. Apparently, which I didn't realize. The first person shot into space. And then came back and then was skeletons. It was supposed to be the headmaster. Didn't click. Didn't realize. Um, and then... But yeah, the memory thing. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. It's... Hmm. Because it, it kind of took me out of reality. For that one. This one... There's so much other things, so it's like, yeah, memory loss. It's part of it. <laughs> In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Like, each of us did that? Also, like... Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that what happened to Mama? Is that what happened to Teru Teru? Ooh. <laughs> Rough. I don't think that's what happened. Someone said that you don't get an explanation of his mom, but... Ooh. Also, does that mean, um... Nagito did that himself? You know, slice in the hand. Family, friends, and our own bodies. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! I mean... Yeko looked fine. Don't turn away from the truth! I'll turn away from whatever I want. <laughs> sure. Yeah... Oh, wait. Oh. Why did we get that memory? What? was that just now? A, a memory? But... That person... That was Nagito, right? Oh, Truth Bullet. Vision of Nagito has been added to your Truth Bullet section of your handbook. I don't think we ever got a Truth Bullet in the class trial. <laughs> it appears you've remembered a little. We were that guy. We were a jerk. <laughs> I didn't like that guy. He's a little pretentious. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. But Nagito introduced himself to us. Did he not? Like, we didn't know him. But here... I guess... I guess. I don't know why it kind of insinuated. I don't know why. I guess I just assumed we knew each other. I guess it technically wouldn't make any sense. I don't know why I'm like, yeah, we knew each other. It wouldn't make any sense because I wasn't in your guys' class. It wouldn't make any sense. But I don't know why I'm like, yeah, of course he likes Norino Nagito. Hajime and Nagito knew each other. But I think it was just because... I don't know why I wanted to say Nagito. It would make no sense. It would make literally no sense. But I thought in the hospital bed 
when he said that he hated us and always has, but I guess he meant from the moment on the island, because of course, yeah, we don't know each other. I don't know why. God, my brain. So smart. Make your argument. I'm trying to remember if I took medicine because my back hurts. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're arguing. There's obviously some kind of mistake. Oh god. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Okay. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you even destroyed your own body. Ah, uh, okay. How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. We're being tricked by the Future Foundation. Okay, so we're not being tricked. Doubt, hope. How much despair is within you guys? It's not hope, it's despair to us. We're ultimate despair. It's not possible. I need to organize my information. If I organize it, I'll probably be able to. Oh. There's obviously some kind of mistake. But it's not hope for us. <laughs> it's despair. Realizing. And you even destroyed your own body. Realizing that we are horrible people isn't hope. <laughs> it's it's kind of despair. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Magito did was. Is all of our receipts going to be filled? Because I thought we only needed... We needed half. We're at... We need like two more now. But we have more than two seats. <laughs> I just... There's a lot of... I guess... I guess it makes sense. There's just a lot of empty seats. <laughs> but it is what it is. Cut off his own arm. It transplanted a woman's arm? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What? what did you say? Do I remember correctly? The voice actor for... I think there's like the main character in the first one is the voice actor for a character in the second. But I don't remember which one, so I don't- I shouldn't say anything. He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. But he said the person that I hate, he mentions hating her. He said, if I, you know, like, to have someone I hate, I like, part of- like, I thought he said he hated her. Also, you use two spaces in between Junko, comma, space, space, he. I, I don't get this at all. That's interesting, though. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I, I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Oh. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Okay. Oh. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. I can't tell if they look familiar or if just artwork in this game looks familiar to each other. Because like she could look like someone or she's just a character from a game that they look the same, you know? <laughs> Because they, they kind of, they can't look similar, <laughs> but okay. Not mm. just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. Uh, that's not what the image shows at all. 
That's not... That's not what this image shows. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? I don't think it would have worked. Her body was crushed. Oh yeah, someone said it was retconned. Never mind, never mind. That was retconned. And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Did I ever... <laughs> Such a horrible lead-in, but did I ever mention that one time my siblings were talking about an actor that they really liked? And it was fictional. Like, this is fictional. It was fictional. <laughs> there was none of this in real life. But what happened was the actor, I can't remember, got... <laughs> I forgot what his name was. Um, anyways, what happened is he was playing a character, and they're like, oh man, it sucks that he's like not a great guy in this because he's so attractive. And I'm watching it. <laughs> and um, I myself am not very sexual. Um, but what happened is this character wanted to... Um, with a dead body with this particular dead body and he's like i tried doing this and i tried this in different ways until finally I realized if you turn her over her eyes wouldn't see you and it was her dead eyes that i couldn't stand and i'm sitting there and i just turn to my siblings and, and i'm like this is and they're like not the character and i'm just like because it's just it's one of those things where it's just like I, I, they, I, they're like we didn't know that he would like it, so they didn't know. I think they didn't know that the character would go there, but also just like I guess if you're really attracted to an actor, it really sucks when the actor is acting as a character. That's not great. I get it, but it was the worst segue from just being like god he's so hot to then that scene where i'm like oh that's rough because i've seen him in other stuff like god i can't remember the name but uh not the best segue and so that just <laughs> just reminds me of that because it's just the worst possible segue into that scene was talking about how attractive he was yeah 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 just stop! None of us did that though, right? Also, that's... It wouldn't have grown. Maybe if you like... Took... Took... Took, took some things out. Transplant. If you're quick enough. You know? Yeah. But that's not how you would do it. That wouldn't work. Did you share? It said a few. It, it's she's sixteen. I guess slightly older. There is a time skip. She's seventeen. <laughs> that's just a bullshit story. That's obviously uh, bullshit. I here's my hot take. Maybe with the first one, it was more okay. I don't see why... Eh. It, I, 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 a lot of times with things, I don't see why we have to keep them so young. Like, um, the book... Something about crows. I don't remember. My sibling talks about it. I never personally read it. Um, or watched it because apparently, but anyways, they're playing like 17 year olds, but the story is clearly written for a much older. I love Fuihiko. <laughs> he was the one that I really wanted to hang out with. Anyway, sorry, this character, um, clearly was supposed to be like 30. 
um, written as 30, but then they had to age it down because so many things like the Hunger Games and everything was coming out, so it was so much younger, so they actually had to age down all these characters. And I don't understand why we can't just have older characters. <laughs> it would be so much better story-wise for me and less questionable things like with Junko <laughs> um, and things like that where it's like I mean god that was still wrong but I meant like it's still like lusting and talking and the whole thing I think it would be I would like it more and then also like Nekamaru does not look like 16 you know what I'm saying I don't see why we have to be so young I don't know it's a thing that we went into very high school is the age range for things when it doesn't have to be. Like, a lot of things just do not have to be high schoolers. <laughs> it just, it doesn't. But also, he was the, but Fuhiko was the one that I wanted to hang out with the absolute most. Like, every single free time, I would check if he was available. He was never available until the fun house. But every single time. He's the one that I wanted the story, he's the one that I connected with the most right off the bat because he had a sibling, and I... his story was great. I loved I loved it. <laughs> so, absolutely. 100%. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be safe. I want to say he might be my favorite character and story. Yeah, yeah this part. Um, throughout this game, I think I really liked Brachia the twice we hung out, but I think Fuhiko's story, because he was actually there for more than half of the chapter, he was my favorite character. Um, I... Yeah, yeah, he's just my favorite character. I, Pekko, kind of... Eh. But Fuhiko? Yes, 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. save. You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. Chucky's a good one. Chucky's really a good one. I... I think she was really well... Like, well executed. I really did like her. I think she... <laughs> and I know a lot of people like her in a different way, but... Uh, with her video games, my sibling... I said this a million times before in my games. But my sibling and I... Um, we had a old Miss Pac-Man machine. And we would just play it so like her action of that it just kind of like my sibling but my sibling i think is very brass <laughs> like uh like uh mahiru more but i absolutely love jackie i think her design is really adorable i love her coloring absolutely just love it Oh, okay. <laughs> I... I don't think she was my... Again, Fuhiko was just overarchingly is my favorite. But I... Chiaki was one of the only ones that I saw before playing this game. I knew nothing. Uh, I have not seen the anime. I have not seen anything from any of the games before starting I before starting playing them whenever that was like I knew nothing I thought they were in purgatory I didn't know it was real um, I didn't realize the third one came out so recently I thought they were all very close together so I knew nothing um, so going into this was a ride <laughs> um, but yeah I think Chiaki, I, I can kind of see that if, if I played this when it was at its height, I wonder if, like, 
people's perception of the characters would sway what I was thinking. But as of right now, Chucky was okay. Like, I liked her. Um, I think it was really sweet, really cute. Um, but Fuhiko all the way <laughs> for me. Fuhiko all the way. Braka, or this Braka, not the first one. This Braka is my second. Um, I only hung out with him twice, though, so I don't actually know his background. But for the two times we hung out, he just likes food. I like food. That was pretty much it. <laughs> he wants to protect people. He was kind of dumb at the end, getting killed. He shouldn't have done that, but you know. <laughs> uh, but Fuhiko's story for me, like, yes, yes. <laughs> Ibuki with me, I... I didn't hate her. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't hang out with her, but I didn't hate her with what I seen, but she would definitely be close on my list of like who I'd hang out with next. <laughs> the lesbian rock star baby. Um, I did like the mini game of the Tamagotchi. It was a little random. It was a little like you just had it, but it also made me walk everywhere. So it's like, I guess, but it was kind of you got coins from it, but I don't really- I don't know the purpose of it, but I am not complaining. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the things that I always checked on. I always made sure. Uh, I have a baby little Tamagotchi right now. Yeah, and he's never going to grow up. I don't think we walk around, so he's forever going to be a little baby, so. Um. Oh, he's standing. Oh no! <laughs> um, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I, again, I never played this, so this is all new, but as I said, kind of at the beginning, personally, I like chapter 5 better than so far chapter 6, so I'm kind of like, eh, okay, tell me what's happening, but I personally just felt more into chapter 5. I was like, where are the bombs, Nagito, all this. With this, I'm like... Okay, I mean, there's, give it, there's moments. There are definitely moments. I do not know version 3, I do not, or V3, I guess. I always assumed it was version, I don't know why, but, um, so no spoilers, none. If you give me spoilers, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> um, but my sibling, um, has fin- or er, almost finished the third one. Um, we actually started watching one, the first one together, and then I decided to play, and she decided to watch. Um, so I, I don't know the third one, so she's like, I got spoiled to the killer in, like, this one, in this chapter, and she was telling me things, like, but without spoilers. So I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta play it, <laughs> so we can talk about it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can say what your favorite character is. I seen them, but I don't I wouldn't be able to really engage in it. But I love hearing people's favorite characters. Like from the first one, from this one, from the third one, go for it. Like tell me your favorite parts. Like 100% go ahead. <laughs> um just no spoilers. Like don't be like he's my favorite character because spoiler, you know. But Tell me, like, if you're like, I like this character because he's sweet, or I like this because, like, vague. <laughs> That's where I'm at with it. <laughs> you put us inside this program so that you can save us? Also, like, this one and the first one. You can say as much as you want, I played them, so. Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. Okay, so I do know him, solely because you mentioned the purple. I'm assuming he's the one with the checkered scarf. I have seen his image, and I know people don't like him, because he's a brat. And that's what I know from him, that's all I know. Because I saw an image using two people from the third one, um, so... 
<laughs> I know um, I know his look, and I know his kind of his personality, but it was like a meme that used two people. So I do wonder if that is a spoiler, so I'm not going to say who it was, just because I don't- they didn't seem very anything with him from what I've seen of him. I kind of just want to cut his hair that's like hanging off of him. I don't know why. I just kind of want to just- his little hair. <laughs> I it's just like- just so, because I only know his image. That's all I can think about of him, but um, I- I th thought there was a really big buff woman in the third one and I was so ready for it. I was all like, God, I love big buff women that likes bugs. And then I learned that is a man. So, kinda sucks, but I'll take a big man that likes bugs. I love bugs. Um, sure, Gonta. I don't know their name, <laughs> but I saw fan art and I thought the fan art was of a woman but it wasn't. <laughs> I, I really thought so. And I, I was all like, oh hell yes. And then, um, <laughs> um, I just, I saw, I just, I saw this fan art and I just was like, I can't wait. This was back in the first game and I was like, I can't wait. And then my sister's like, there's no tough, big, blonde woman that likes bugs and i was like oh <laughs> okay um i uh, anyway so that's who i'm looking forward to that's the only person i kind of know anything about i did not i guess i guess it makes sense i did not know they were an entomologist i guess that's how you pronounce it yeah <laughs> um i actually for a while thought of becoming an entomologist until i realized I didn't want to look at bugs close up. I love bugs. I love bug behavior. I have um, framed like dead bugs. I take photos of bugs. <laughs> I love learning about bugs, but um, not really for me, I don't think. <laughs> but it was definitely an option. <laughs> um, but I guess it makes sense that they're an entomologist. Anyways, but yeah, don't say your reasons why you love. Go, Kokichi. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Is your friend cool? Do they want to, you know, hang out sometime? Tell me about bugs? Because I would be down. <laughs> um, I would... That's my biggest thing, though, when you're like, Oh, you reminded me of Gonta. I love when people say characters remind people of other people. I don't know why, like, it's just, um, it's just so funny because I just don't think I have a connectiveness to characters, so I, 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 I wonder, I wonder, <laughs> because I just, I don't, I don't know. Mahiru, or no, Mahiru, this is Mahiru, that just says me, you. Okay, okay, fair, uh, fair, but I do not know Miu at all. <laughs> like, not the name at least, maybe if I look her up, them up? <laughs> um, but anyways, I gotta go back. <laughs> if you removed the memories but... of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? But, um, I think my favorite character from the first one was surprisingly turned into Taka, um, with the voting for himself above voting for Mondo. Voting for Mondo was one of my, like, it showed that he put his friendship above the rules and like since he's like the ultimate narc it's like yeah you know what he likes mondo his friendship more than he likes the rules i don't know anyways just throwing it back in there but 
big boobas. I don't know if I know her then. Taka. I, a lot of people hated Taka. That's why I, I know. That's why I'm saying surprisingly. A lot of people hated Taka. Oh, I don't... Oh, you can kind of tell. Um, my mom had nail polish. That is the perfect shade of a jewel bug beetle. A jewel beetle. And I actually whittled... <laughs> I tried. It was very bad. Whittled um, a little jewel bug out of it. And I painted it because it was this like, ir iridescent green. It was perfect. My beetle didn't turn out very well and my wrist started to hurt really bad. <laughs> I have carpal tunnel and I should not have done it, but I did it anyways. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, so it's like this perfect color. So once I saw my mom had this um, color and painted my sibling's nail with it, I was like, can I borrow that? <laughs> because I just painted this little whittled, I mean it's not that small, this little whittled beetle I made. But yeah, I thought Taka was going to be my least favorite, but I hung out with him a few- or maybe not my least. I really hated Hifumi. Oh, actually Bakra. Bakra is- I hated Bakra. And then it was Hifumi. But Taka, Mondo, eh. Shihiro was pretty good. Yeah, I know about Junko. Um, she kind of started getting to tie it back in here, but not yet. But I know about Junko in the previous game, yes. <laughs> oh, I did like... I wish I hung out with her more. But the Junko from the first game, or the first part of the game, Ikusaba. I really wish I hung out with her more. <laughs> I didn't hang out with her at all. Um, Celeste was eh, for me. Like I didn't hang out with her. She was kind of. In, I was kind of indifferent. Um, Sakura. Duh. I mean, how can I forget her? I mean, freaking icon. Now she's a buff woman that I was looking for, but she was not the fan art I saw. It was with bugs. It was not her. It was. It was. What was his name? <laughs> the the ultimate entomologist. He. It was him. It was his fan art. But anyways. Now I'm just talking about the original characters. I should go back. <laughs> so you're saying this was like a test? That's interesting. I again, this chapter isn't really doing it for me. I guess I can say that the test was a success. Mm, was it? We killed over half our people and tried to kill everyone here. The only success was with Nagito. Even though it deviated <laughs> greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments. I got a text message. <laughs> okay, my sister sent me a video to watch. I will do that later. I... Junko was... Eh. <laughs> Ikusaba... Or... M Mukuro. I wanted to hang out with her more. I liked her. I liked... I think I liked her better than I liked normal Junko. Over the top Junko, though, reminds me of my sister. She's very dramatic. <laughs> I mean, you know, despite the whole despair thing. Um... <laughs> I was like... Okay. Um... I have, like, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> but... I... Yeah, I want to go back and play and just hang out with all of them, but I haven't... Um... I haven't yet. <laughs> Mukuro was Junko at the beginning of the game, correct? Like, that's th that's the same person. Um, so you could only hang out with her for, like, two or four hangouts or something. Because I, I totally forgot about her first friend. Oh my goodness. Uh, Sayaka? Sayaka, you had to hang out with her. 
and then you hang out free. And I knew who died in the first one because I watched up until um, Shihiro. So um, I knew who to hang out with. You hate her? She was... I was like, I don't trust her. I'm like, I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. I don't trust her. And then I didn't. But I did like Leon. I am actually going to admit it. Leon's case um, was actually really liked her. <laughs> like, liked her. Like it. I was reading. Liked it. I liked Leon. I liked Leon's case. I liked his investigation and trial. It was very clean. It was very good. I didn't like his beard. I would didn't cut that. But if it was shorter, <laughs> I, I kind of liked him. Um, that being said, his death was also horrific, and I loved it. Um, but I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't really love Sayaka. Just, she was kind of just there, and I didn't trust her. <laughs> I just didn't. Y Junko, when I was talking, if you meant in this game, talking about the actual Junko, in well, that could have been actually that could be a twist, but no. Um, but talking in game, we're talking about the real Junko. I think her death got like kind of changed, reckoned, because she was absolutely obliterated, but now she's like perfectly fine. <laughs> her body, it seems. Um, but us here, I don't remember if we talked about her death. <laughs> yeah, her design was very ordinary. It is also, it's also 4 a.m. for me, so please go ahead and go to sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting because I didn't recognize Ikusaba as Junko. I didn't recognize her, but once she changed into actual um, Junko at the end, where she had the different hair pieces and the crown, I'm like, oh my god, I do know her. And it just, it all flooded back to me. And I seen, I seen, I seen her. <laughs> like, I saw her in images, and I saw her um, in posts about her, and I saw her in cosplays, and I was like, oh my god, I, I do know who this is, and it was such a funny thing, because I completely didn't recognize her, and then it just, uh, and then it was interesting, because right after I finished, um, playing the game, around that time, I actually went to a Halloween event, and I saw someone dressed as Junko, and I'm like, oh, I've seen her <laughs> in real life too, and I just completely didn't realize it was her until she changed her look. Um, with the surnames, that was one of the complaints I had in the final trial. I mean, there was a few things. For me, it just story-wise is eh. But... They lampshaded at the game, lampshaded their different names by saying, what, like, I'm so sick of explaining it, I'm not going to. And it's like, you can't, you can't set something up and just go, I'm not going to explain it. It's like, why does this character have a gun? I, I'm not going to explain it. It's like, you can't just lampshade a vital th thing. <laughs> Literally... I mentioned it, Junko is um, an icon, she is a fashion person, she is in the media. Have her change her name for like media reasons. Like that's it, just say like I changed my name when I got famous. Baseline, done. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. I mean like Oscar Isaac, that's only two of like four of his names, but we only know him as Oscar Isaac. Um, a care or actor I know growing up watching from Psych, he changed his last name because it was Rodriguez, I think. I no, could be wrong, but he changed it because he didn't, he looked white, he was white passing. So, to get acting jobs, he changed his last name 
to being more white so he could get acting gigs a lot of people changed their last name if they like you could have put an explanation in it and they didn't and i was i was like okay i was kind of sloppy but there's probably bigger fish to fry <laughs> because i mean uh, but anyways <laughs> You guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. I mean, she also... Ikusaba. She left... She left the country. She got kidnapped or something. I don't remember. At like... 11. And then she came back two years later. Say she changed her name to whatever they called her. You know what I'm saying? Like... <sighs> Mm, yeah, exactly. Like, just people just um, change their names. Like, just. <laughs> I mean, I changed my name. I mean, I'm trans, but I changed my name. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. That. I don't think. It meant uglier. I assumed they just meant it looked different, like she just looked different. Um, where, yeah, but that was a very, very fun line. I really, really enjoyed that. Where she's like, you're like, don't you look different? And she's like, uh, yeah, but, you know, editing. And I really like that because, like, it referenced that she doesn't look like Junko. But she, because she wasn't. She didn't have freckles. Or she did. Or she didn't. One of them has freckles, one of them has a different mouth. Maybe eyes, but like especially the mouth. And I liked Ikusaba's smile better. <laughs> um, and it was just, it was interesting that they did have different faces. Um, and I really liked that dialogue. It's the same with Shihiro, where they, I'm going to go with they, <laughs> where they, um, mentioned they don't like introducing themselves in a particular way because they don't like it it's embarrassing and that's their whole thing <laughs> and it was like they mentioned these things from the very beginning it was it was actually incredibly incredibly well done i actually forgot about that um so in this game i wonder if we're gonna tie that back in i don't remember um what our first lines were I wonder. <laughs> That's why all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we can get out of here. Yeah. I wonder what our first lines were, because the other one was very connected. Each thing was like, oh, this meant this. This meant this. I I don't remember. I don't remember if they did that here. Hmm. However. If you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. I thought we were supposed to do a forced shutdown. I thought we weren't supposed to graduate or not graduate. Huh? If you choose to graduate and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the hope restoration program and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatar's memories to our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restriction Program. So that is the Neo World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars died? Good question. I was also thinking if I was in this situation and I got put into my body, but it's like scarred and obviously grown. That's actually pretty horrific, but interesting. I like that. <laughs> An avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted. There's nothing we can do. There's not a saved file. There's you didn't like pre-save it. Never wake up! God damn it! You know, it's said of eight million times. You die in the game, you die in real life, you know? Damn fucking shit! 
Ahem. Please take a look at this flip book for a quick rundown of your options. Aww. If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. This is adorable little art style. <laughs> Wait, who made this? You can and cannot write. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Okay. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. So either way, I'm not getting my memories back. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Because like, if I stay here, are you at least gonna put back my memories, or are they gone? Because then I don't have a choice. Well, well even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is. It would be very interesting if... So I have a bunch of alteration, alterations. <laughs> alterations. Like, I have tattoos, facial piercings, I cut my hair real short, like I shaved it all off before, grew it back, but it was as long as like to the um, small of my back. I wonder what would have been like if I... What, two years? In, uh, two years I had tattoos, facial piercings, but and I think short hair, but I didn't start like testosterone and stuff like that. So I wonder what it would be like that I, I was trans back then, I was out, but like a particular part of my life before I came out as trans and then got tattoos and cut my hair, those all happened within like two years. I wonder what it would be like if I before cutting my hair, getting tattoos, realizing I'm trans, to now, just like, whoa. A lot has changed. And that's like, decision, like those are decisions I made. So then to be like, go into the, your real life and having self-mutilation and just being like, this is a decision I made, but I will never remember. But that's pretty messed up. <laughs> Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? But they're dead here anyways. They... You're not sacrificing anyone. You're asking that now? I mean, like... We... They're dead. They're dead here, they're dead in real life. Like... If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? If anything, you're sacrificing them if you decide to stay. You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we finally left this place. Can finally leave this place. I can read. If we don't get out of here now, all the death we endured will be in vain. I... I know this, but... <laughs> something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he... Just going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this in out of this game world. Then everything Monokuma did would be pointless. Or yeah, I know how to read. And then everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that. Yeah, I really like um Makoto's look better. <laughs> Is it really okay for us to believe him? Should we get out, or... Is this an actual decision? <laughs> if I click dot dot dot, I'm assuming it would just restart me, but uh... 
Uh, I, l I really like Makoto's look better. Anyways, I'm gonna dot 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 because I think it would be funny. I see. Oh, that was the right choice. <laughs> we have some time to decide. It was the correct choice. Shucks. Okay. Did you get scared like Sonia? It makes sense that that was the right choice. It does. I should I should have thought. <laughs> no, it's not that. We, Don't you think this is a little strange? Yeah, we just talked about how strange it was. Yet I'm like, yep. Dot dot dot. Anyways, so I'm assuming we don't want to get out because Monokuma is up to something. Also, we don't know if we can trust Makoto, which we we know, we know. Strange. You still don't understand? Unless he's not real. He could be fake. Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? See, I said I trust Chalky and Monami. So, in turn, I trust the Future Foundation. But are we supposed to be sus are we supposed to be suspicious <laughs> of Makoto, or is that I don't know? <laughs> Am I reading into it, or? I thought there's something wrong with you. Okay, we are supposed to be suspicious. Never mind. <laughs> is he not real? Uh. Um. Email. I said I'm going to save you guys. Yeah, okay. Why aren't you listening to me? I don't think he's real. <laughs> Let's do what he says and get out of here. Mm, that's what Monica wants. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? Uh we are actually the bad guys. Uh find to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. You defined Oh, you did it. Foolish to even think about. Okay. He defined the Future Foundation in the email. There's something wrong with him. Okay. I said I'm going to. Why aren't you? Let's do what he said. I mean, the Future Foundation. And apparently, we. It's fine to trust you. Those it's argument points. The no one can oh. the Future Foundation. At least with no, Sonia's, not. it's like, what's the argument? Or, the, what? What? What's the point? Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? He had to said it was impossible, but yeah. And how do you explain your actions? <gasps> My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. You know what? It's mainly his hair. I really don't like it. <laughs> Two Future Foundation, 14th Division. Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you guys doing right now? What are you doing? Or what you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? I forgot. Wait, this was to Nagito. Never mind. Nagito? <laughs> That's not correct. To Makoto. Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be a a a a a a clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring a light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy. You survived and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return the re return the remnants of despair. Guess I get I still want to make that plural. The remnants of despair zzz, to our headquarters. Unless we err, unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of hope-filled future. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Huh? Is that email for real? The Future Foundation tried to kill us? 
Hold on. We'll deal with that later. See, before it said um, his line of to defy them, I th was going to shoot that at like, oh, they're the good guys. I was like, no, they actually wanted to kill us. But like I guess technically we're still the bad guys, so like they're still technically the good guys, but like they did try to kill us. But, you know, whatever. Hey, Monokuma. Those clues we found were all real, right? G yes. And that's not the only contradiction. What this uh, blah, 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 blah. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we already have been told. Exactly. I can't. Er. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> I can't. Gra er. Guarantee. God. I write graduate too many times. Guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. To me, those words seem more, or much more real. If so, the person in front of us is, you know, I really like, I really like uh, Makoto's design. His little face, it's really cute. Tell me, Makoto Naegi, who are you? Yeah, and then slap him. Oh, okay. <laughs> who is he? <laughs> Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie. That's what I just said. I'm not asking you. I'm asking. <laughs> so I just, um, my sibling and I, we just, um, my sister and I, we just watched all of the iCarly reboot because we did that. Um, and at one, at one point, I think it was in the finale, one of them was like to Carly. But there's like two people next to her. I was like, what are you going to do? And the second guy turns to the first guy and is like, well, I'm waiting for her to answer. And it was so dumb because he's like, no, not, not you. I'm talking to Carly. And it was so funny to me because like, it was just so, so dumb. And that character is so dumb. It was great. Anyways, overarchingly, the show was okay, but it had some really funny moments or some funny moments. Overarchingly, I also realized I didn't like reoccurring skits from Mike Early, and I knew that. I was indifferent about it back then, but we wanted something to watch, so we just watched them all in like two days. Anyways, that's what I do with my life <laughs> when I'm not streaming. If you if you ever want to know, it's, it's Animal Crossing um, and, and apparently watching iCarly. That's all I did. <laughs> If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Damn it. He's trying to interfere, then. To prove whether Makoto Naegi is real or not, I gotta shove that in his face. Uh, okay. God, I'm so bad at these. I... Luck next time. Okay, what do I what am I? What? I'm supposed to lift it. Okay, uh Punishment is waiting for you. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and You're do nothing. These are by far Am I supposed to still be paying attention? I don't remember. by far my worst game and then okay <laughs> and then also i have a shoot oh i'm still in are you sure about this what, what are you even talking about where are you i can't hear you better luck next time I... it's fine i got this you get enough fever time it's fine Oh god. Uh, 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 one, one, <laughs> God. <laughs> so many numbers. Oh god. I... 
God, that was, that was panic. <laughs> um, because there's just so many numbers going on right now. Anyways. How did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Don't... Don't ask him the number. Ask him what the password was. Because he... Because... It was... It was shown. It was broadcast, right? It was broadcast with Sayaka's death. It showed it. But if you ask him what the password was, you know, like they might be able to figure out what the number meant. They might not be able to, they wouldn't be able to tell you what it was. Ugh. <laughs> Can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you. Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So, how about it? Can you even answer? Oh, man. I've been found out. Found out? Then you're. <laughs> how disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track. He disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Okay, but it would still be weird. But also, also that makes a lot of sense. About the whole, we weren't planning to graduate. <laughs> you know, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it makes more sense. But that just means now he wants us to graduate. He does not want us to stay here. Okay. And then that was just the work of Monokuma? Aw, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just want to kill myself! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill you. Just kill him right now. Then this nightmare can finally end. Violence is not allowed. This isn't that kind of game. It's a much smarter game, right? This whole game is a killing game. Of course, killing is allowed. What game? <laughs> this game is already over. Girl, no. We are not even halfway through this trial, I bet. This game is over? No, no, no. I'm not going to let you finish yet. There's no way this can end before I've even transformed. Or that. I was saying the trial isn't half over, but or transformed. Tra transform? A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? Uh, you know, like that one role-playing game? The one. You know, the one. You know what game I'm talking about. Final... Don't say it! <laughs> now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip the second I'm assuming. and third forms and go straight to my final form! Is it going to be like Final Fantasy? I never played Final Fantasy. I had one, but I never played it. Did I have one? I actually don't know. You better not be bluffing. I'm going to beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out! But yeah, everyone, everyone has multiple. I have like at least one change in a boss battle. I guess Junko did too, didn't she? Jun you good? Junko changed from Monokuma to Junko. But now this is Monokuma too. I, an AI? Or is it another person that's put here? What? I have a bad feeling about this 
like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling. A, a really, really bad feeling. I was gonna end it, but I'm gonna end it right after a transformation. Make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories. I'm ready. It's so it's so bright and will burn. <laughs> It would save us a lot of time if you did. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Okay, well first I wanted to say like the Monokuma in the corner, nope that corner, on that little box. All I could think of is making half and half cookies that look like a little Monokuma. A hundred percent was made already. It had to have been. It had to have been made before. How did Junko get into the machine? Why did her boobs have Jiggle Figure 6? Because I was... We're good. I'm good without that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, I didn't need that. Three, she's a giant woman. Also... Kind of fun. I'd like that. Do I? I don't know. Okay. No, anything can happen. We already covered this. I, I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay! Her eyes are so bored. <laughs> but also, why did her boobs have jizzle, 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 jiggle physics? I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra-large high school girl. Was that her voice from the first one? I actually don't remember what she sounded like, I'm gonna be real. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? I'm not gonna talk- you're 17! <laughs> um, but also... No, clearly not. Like, they're- on the larger scale of things. You have to actually not feed it. Like, the, the design can't have it. Whatever. She's <laughs> huge! She's way too huge! Hmm. But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Sniperella. Said it anyway. Oh, I don't know it. <laughs> I see, I see. An estimated bus size of fifteen meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. You know, I don't, I want to make it clear, I don't hate characters that are like, like sexual women, you know, obviously. <sighs> I 
in this game with Mikan, it was... And then Akane's shirt would rip open. However... Do not give me a close- I am too old for that. Do not give me a close-up of her chest like that. Nope. 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 And then... Is she sexualizing herself? I don't mind sexual characters. I've been watching all of the Golden Girls. I absolutely love and adore Blanche. In a certain way. <laughs> uh, I have a special place for... Um... I have a special place for all of them. <laughs> I really like them all. <laughs> um, but you can be a sexual character, or have a sexual character, and that is fine. The problem is that's her uncritiquedly her whole like thing. I don't remember Junko enough. You know what? It was forever ago when I played. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna. Hey, hey! Want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I feel uncomfortable in the situation that we made in this video game studio today. I get fucking crushed. And you, you not yet. <laughs> if this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But there was. There was though. There was a close-up. Are you lampshading it as well? There was. Too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either. You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. But there was a... <laughs> I, I feel so much despair. Junko, you did it. <laughs> I officially feel despair. Identity? Anyways, how did she how did she get into the game? We, we have to deal with this thing? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Also, my sister when she's over the top, she does it as a joke. Junko just switch. <laughs> oh god. You know, I I, I may not actually like Junko. I I might have actually forgot what she was like. <laughs> uh, uh, is it just me, or did her personality change? Oh uh, yeah, we gotta cut, bring that up. Yeah. I get easily bored of my personality. Like I already got bored of my personality. Who gets easily bored? See, like it's not like a personality shift. Just like how you say things, like really dramatically. Like oh, I want to be dramatic, but she's like oh, I'm bored. So it's it's, it's different. I think I like that. Because it's more fun to be over dramatic, is more my speed. But then too, I th I think it's just because Junko and this game falls into, I guess what they call fan service. But like, Mikan was a huge fan service, and even her death. Oh, uh, that was by honestly one of my least favorite parts of of it. Just ugh. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say. It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez, even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead. Does that mean... Is this person's true identity? I see! Are you... Junko Enoshima? You know what? I feel like this is a good place to end it right now. I, I have I didn't play- I didn't play a lot. But... That's a lot. A lot. A lot happened. A lot happened. A lot. Mainly, I, um, it's really late. <laughs> like, really late. So I'm gonna leave it here. I had stuff. My finger hurts. Well, it's not hurts. It's like asleep. Anyways, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I kind of want to keep playing. No, I should go. It really is like 4.30 in the morning. I really need to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>